All right, I'm out here in the shed. I got my uh, Redneck CO2 regulated air supply. Uh, that's the fill rig going to a paintball tank. I've been using that to fill paintball tanks. I'm kind of doing it backwards this time. It's a regulator off of a oxygen tank. And I got the line going to the engine. Uh, I got a little bit of a leak. A little small leak in this fitting right here. I'm not sure why I changed fittings and it's still leaking. I don't know what the problem is there, but anyway, when that's using, used as a fill uh, rig, that's just a vent anyway. And I, I can come up with something a little more permanent. probably safer but anyway I just want to uh, see this thing running uh, it's been almost a year uh, October be a year not quite a year almost, what, nine months or so so put the camera back over here a little out of balance or what shakes a little bit and rev it up cool and it seems to run on just about no air that's I mean that's a, a low well it's actually a high pressure gauge it gives up to 300 PSI, but it's really not even registering on the gauge. The needle's barely moving. I'm not sure why that uh, 
prop nuts wobbling like that. I don't know if maybe the plate, the uh, prop's not flat and it tightened up crooked or what. I, mean, I don't know. Had a good sound to it. So most of the time. I'm happy. Cool. Uh, nearly a year ago I had no idea I'd even be able to do this. I looked at the plans for this and I'm like I just don't know. But uh there it is. Thanks to uh the YouTube video creators, uh, you might know them, you might not. Keith Fenner, Mr. Pete 222, uh, Tom's Techniques, A Bomb 79. Uh, there's lots of them. Uh, I'm leaving out a ton. I can't mention all of them. I, I got a subscription list with, I don't know, 60. 60 or 80 names on it. It's hard to watch them all, but I, I learned a lot by watching those guys. If you want to do anything like this, go on YouTube. Um, if it's machining, there's lots of guys out there. If, you know, it's anything. You can learn how to do anything on YouTube. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I wish I'd had it when I was a kid. But anyway, and I think I, I, I'm afraid the kids today are missing out. Because all they're interested in is chatting and sending pictures of themselves back and forth. And there's so much they could be learning. So, if you're a young person out there and you're listening to this, go on YouTube and learn how to do something. Learn how to do a bunch of things. Uh, you can learn how to do anything you want to do.